the Atlantic continues to exceed expectations with the formation of a new tropical depression in the form of 31L. 14.2 degrees north and 74.3 degrees west as of 2 p.m. Eastern Time this November 13th, 2020. Wind speeds of 35 miles per hour, a pressure of 1,007 millibars, and the storm is moving 7 miles per hour to the west-southwest, and there is no CDPS scale as of this time because the storm is too far away from land. So again, that is wind speeds of 35 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,007 millibars at 14.2 degrees north and 74.3 degrees west. The storm is currently 598 miles away from Cabo Gracias a Dios, 615 miles away from Puerto Cabezas, 639 miles away from Puerto Lempira, 864 miles away from Tegucigalpa, 919 miles away from San Pedro Sula, and 979 miles away from Belmopan. There are no watches and warnings in effect as of this time. Maximum sustained winds are again 35 miles an hour, which is in agreement with both the NHC and SAB. Speaking of the NHC, this storm is expected to strengthen to a tropical storm status very soon. Uh, further strengthening to hurricane status is expected in a day or two. Sea surface temperatures are looking very favorable for the storm and it appears to support hurricane status. Uh, storm force winds are 70 to 80 percent for the very eastern tip of the Nicaragua and Honduras border with a 5 to 10 percent chance extending all the way out to Guatemala and Costa Rica. Hurricane force winds are 20 to 30 percent for again the very eastern tip of the Nicaragua Honduras border and a 5 to 10 percent chance extending out near to the border with Belize and halfway down the Nicaraguan coast. On to the diagnostic charts. Now some models are expecting intensity to strengthen before some models split off and expect the storm to strengthen further whilst most models expect the storm to weaken. Shear appears to be fluctuating, but overall there appears to be a slight drop before a significant rise. The sea surface temperatures are expected to slowly fall before falling very sharply. And relative humidity expected to gradually fall before a gradual rise. And the storm is expected to continue to track westwards, but again the models do split, with the GFS and CTCX expecting a landfall in Honduras and all the other models are tracking continually northwest out to sea and towards Belize. The satellite presentation of 31L has improved massively over the last 18 hours or so with a strong curved band structure apparent in recent imagery. It seems that this system is on the upswing and is likely already strengthening. In such a rapidly changing situation, forecasts may become outdated faster than usual, so it is essential that you pay attention to official products for the latest information. As always, Force 13 will be here doing our best to keep you well informed and up to date on all our social media out outlets.